in the land of Gorski Potar, I visited a village called Fujinus. The village is surrounded by hills, which are covered in trees, which are shrouded in mist. When I was there, it was a stormy place, with rain and hail lashing the forest, water pulsing down the roads. It was here that I came across the legend of a boy who would hack the world one day. The details aren't very clear. What they say of the boy is this. No one knows for sure who he is, and no one knows his age. What is sure is that he came from the coast. He speaks seven languages with the speed of the Bura winds of his homeland. Unbeknownst to his parents or brother, vast encrypted electronics are built into his bedroom wall, shielded and undetectable. From this place, he is known across the world simply as Ian. It's foretold that Ian will hack the world and that the time is getting near. But how can a schoolboy know how to hack the world? Does he have a master? Or did he teach himself? The people here just say he's a genius, self-educated through the internet of global minds. But how can a schoolboy get enough equipment to hack the world? It's rumoured that he gets his money from the banks, a backdoor access to all the money he could ever need. I assume the gear comes in by train or logging truck to Fujinus, lost in the flow of goods and people. And what will he do when he hacks the world? No one seems to know if he's a good guy or if he's a true black hat. Apparently, he spent years developing a drone that could fly forever, and so he flew it to the Arctic and across Russia. Not much to hack in the Arctic, but where else did he go? What connections did he make? And for what? There are other stories too, Darker ones. People trying to stop him. But who are his enemies? Whose side is he on? Is it true there is some sort of gang fight? Is it true that his brother robbed him? Of millions. And this was avenged with force. Tasers and guns involved. Should we all be worried about what the boy who would hack the world will do? I find myself wondering, what does it even mean to hack the world? Sometimes it seems to me that we've already done just that. Like a little piece of malware overriding the planetary operating system. If the boy really can hack the world, will he hack it better? <laughs>